What's going on, everybody? My name is Peace Hunter Brent. I'd like to say welcome back to the episode of Crazier Craft here on the Crazier Craft server. Guys, there's something that I want to show you that um, I was kind of expecting. In fact, I knew it was going to happen, basically jumping into the next episode here. But, um... I'm going to I'm going to go full scale GUI for a second here. Let's take a look at the sidebar on the right for that uh the deadly world or whatever it was that increases the damage of mobs and stuff. <laughs> It literally capped out to full and it went from being at normal colors to a red with the black outline to now it's just black with red dots with ha 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 and a plus symbol. I don't know what the plus is for, maybe meaning that there's more ha ha's to be said that weren't said in there, but uh, basically uh, the even the mod is laughing at us saying that we, we're pretty much to the point where we're gonna die, pretty much. So, what I want to do, kind of to start off this episode, is actually take a look and see how difficult the mobs really are. I'm not sure whether or not I can even find any, like, normal vanilla hostile mobs, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this out right now. Uh, if I go ahead and pull up a couple Miner's Dreams right now, we've got four of them. This should be able to ho hopefully locate some, like, skeletons or something to check this out here, because you guys know with the custom inventory pets mod that we do have the ability of getting the AoE cards, or the AO, uh, yeah, AO we learning cards or just learning cards in general but the only problem though is that if mobs are going to be too hard to kill this might be a bit of an issue uh let's see here what about these guys right here fairies have uh 265 hp so that's something now all right uh what's going on over here we got some uh fireflies all right what's up fireflies how much do fireflies have fireflies now have 196 health casual Pretty casual. Uh, what? A oh, you know what? No, I gotta check a sheep. Wait, is that a hat or is that is that part of the mod? Wait, what are you? Do you have a hat on? 172 HP. So that's not too bad, in all honesty. Thankfully, the sheep actually has a face now, which is uh good. Now, are you a hat or? Okay, yeah. Oh, we got ourselves an AOE card. Okay, AOE card of AOE slow. All right, we can go ahead and right click to learn that guy up right there. Uh, I would really love to start fighting a um, or try and find a hostile mob somewhere and really see whether or not uh, they've been bumped up to the point where it's just ridiculous to fight them now. Because obviously, this is going to be great, or this mod rather, for actually making this a big challenge. Also realizing that our levels seem to be gone. What about you, dude? How, how, what are you at right now? You're at 172 health. Not too bad. And then you, I believe, are an advent mob. And you have uh, 212 health. All right, well, Chopper, uh, you're going to have to... Come on, don't try hurting me right now. Don't try hurting me. You can't even hurt me, dude. You're not even doing any damage to me. Are you going to drop me a card? Oh, you better drop me a card. It's not AoE. Come on. Come on. There you go. What do you get? It's just AoE cards. Is there another way? AoE of group instant health. There has to be a certain way to earn certain cards, but I just don't think that we're running into them right now because we've only found AoE cards. Kind of weird a little bit. Either way, that right there is a little bit of a, uh, a quick summary of what's going on with us so far. What about villagers? Do you guys have an increased buff? 515 health, or 115 health, rather. No, I don't think villagers have an increase in health. I think it's just hostile mobs, including the advent mobs. So that's definitely interesting. Is there possibly going to be a... S oh, you know what? Wait a minute. The spawners. Wait, you got... Oh, well... We can't really check the health of an arrow spawner, but if we ever were to find a zombie spawner, then we could possibly see how much health they have. Oh, here we go. Found a creeper. So creepers have 263 HP. How much damage do you do to me? About, about a heart. Okay, about a heart, maybe a heart and a half right there. What about skeletons? Do skeletons spawn in like normal? And they may spawn in uh, a little bit less considering this is from an actual mob spawner. We can maybe check that out in a minute there. So yeah, um, basically we've got a mod that is now laughing at us, saying that's that difficult. I'm not laughing, you know, considering, um, well, we kind of got some pretty OP freaking gear. I'd put OP in the title if I was doing a mod review on it. But um, yeah, we got, we got a little bit of an increase. So the mod, ooh, hello, uh, kind of want to break you real fast here. What do you got for me? Ooh, have some cookies. I'd love to. Never mind, uh, we got a cookie monster with 262 HP. It looks like most of the mobs, if not... I would assume all vanilla, vanilla mobs have around 262 HP, which is, um, 
Not too bad, honestly. I was a little worried. Ooh, there we go. What would you give me right here? Let me take a look real fast here. You dropped me a group regeneration. All right. We're learning up, like, all of the AoE cards. Haven't been able to find anything else quite yet. But it's like, if all of them are 262 HP or around then, that's not too bad because I can kill them at a decent amount of time and they shouldn't really kill me. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and dip back back home. Let's get started with today's episode. Found ourselves a good old ghost. Trying to look for him and I finally found him. What's up, my man? You gonna... Ooh, I forgot that ghosts kind of like disappear and turn invisible for a moment. All right, how are we gonna kill this dude right here? Are you down here? Come on, ghost. Let's go. Come on, man. Drop me a freaking realm stone or somewhere. I haven't actually gotten a realm stone to a new dimension so long and I want to go to one. Come on, come on. No? No, it really doesn't feel like he wants to. I think it's kind of like invisible and he might stay that way. I think he knows that he was about to die, so he just turned invisible. It's pretty much just gonna be permanent. So, uh, don't really know if I'm gonna be able to get a realm stone from you unless I want to do a double take. Really? Do you just stay? Oh, no, you're down. Th oh, you're down there. Okay, okay. I thought he was, but I wasn't able to hit him for some reason. 56 HP, 26 HP, and come on. Give me that kill, baby. Got him. We got ourselves... Ooh, we got ourselves another a another freaking group resistance. Can I finally move on to something... Wait, hold on. Achievement get affected. Is that all... Please tell me that's all the... Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me go and check right here. Uh, achievements. Let me find the one for uh, Mistcraft, Project Superhero, and Transformers, Planet Logistics, Creep Tech, Quantum Invasion, Custom Pets. Where is the one that we just got right there? We got uh, affected. Acquire all of the AoE ability cards. So I would imagine now that we've done that... We would probably start finding the other stuff, like uh, passive, under attack, uh, uh, whatever the other ones are called. So I kind of want to try going around, see if I can fight another mob, and see if I can get something other than AoE now that we've learned them all. Because it looks like you don't get duplicates. It's pretty straightforward in the fact that once you get a new card, it's a new card, not a repeat, which I like. I just love this. Ants now have 52 health points. That's just great. That's absolutely great. They don't damage you. At least they can't really hurt you. They're just ants. But they now have 52 HP. Basically more than a standard Minecraft character would spawn in with. That's just fantastic. Also, a little bit of clarification for those who watched the last episode. There is this little thing in the back of the area here. Now, this is called uh, corrupted, like, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's just corrupted area, corrupted land, whatever it may be. This is apparently not from Thomcraft. You guys made it very, very clear. This is not Taint. Taint is um, not, this is more like, what would I call this? This is like a, uh, a red velvet tone to it you know what i mean red velvet uh taint is literal purple basically literal purple if i see taint i will know exactly what it is but this is not taint whatsoever although i am definitely left curious i don't really know what this is and why it's like this because we never opened up anything that would have done this so i'm not really exactly sure Ooh fudge is this over here i'm not exactly sure what this is so much but um yeah it's not taints we don't gotta worry about our land becoming corrupted and our world being destroyed here uh oh it's an ocelot i don't see an oh it's a lucky kitty okay i'm gonna go and kill one of these mr rainbows around here 135 l see if i can maybe get a card that is not aoe drop me a good card baby oh you didn't drop me okay maybe i need to find like a normal mob or something like that oh you know what let's kill this cow over here got a couple cows all right very very beautiful looking area though i can't tell a lie all right you guys got 81 health right there you're not now you're not dropping me any cards interesting that's not a very good looking experience right there now they're not dropping any cards whatsoever which is a little bit unsettling in all honesty can you maybe drop me a card no now they're not dropping any cards whatsoever Maybe there's a certain way to start looking or start to get like different cards. Interesting. Might have to do a little bit of research on that. But yeah, we've gotten all the AoE cards, which is good because now if we go ahead and go over to here, we have the ability to pretty much uh, select any AoE group that we want. The only problem though is that um, I kind of, I, I don't really know how exactly to uh, get the others. So we'll have to look into that soon. Now, there is actually one thing that I want to go ahead and focus on today, and that is uh, something that seems relatively cool. We're not going to work with, uh, what's it called, uh, Galactic Craft right away right now. We're going to hold off on that for just a little bit here. I want to see uh, spawners. Okay, what kind of spawners do I have over, let's see, broken spawners right here, hold shift. Combine with a powered spawner in an anvil to set spawn type. I might actually do this for the reason that yesterday, or the last episode rather, we actually got this thing called a heart canister from 
from the uh, the dangerous mob or whatever it is, the, the thing on the sidebar, right? We got a heart canister for it, and it was a bit of an upgraded heart canister because you don't put them in your inventory. You right-click on it, and then you'll get it. That's just it. You know, you have the heart canister right there. We've got one purple heart, or one blue heart, rather, and that's just because we got it from a mob drop. We ate it, and it just stayed with us permanently. Not sure if it stays over death, but I would imagine that it does. But what you guys were saying was get that and drop it into create strong box and literally get unlimited health which is kind of what i actually want to try doing because while i'm not going to use the create strong box for galactic craft we're still going to obviously use it for other stuff because it is crazy to craft i mean come on so what i want to go ahead and work on then is uh getting some spawners up and seeing if i can get another one of those and then dropping it in there and i think it's what we're going to aim for yeah these things right here from difficult life the hard canisters can't craft them you can only get it from mob drops so uh let's see right here we need a powered spawner in an anvil to set the spawn type okay so powered spawner interesting you can probably make that with ender io uh, a little bit of lag right here there we go powered spawner so we got oh they're kind of okay interesting uh empty all right combine it with a broken spawner in an anvil so how do you make this Ooh, uh, we might need some stuff for this one right here so you need a head that's one thing right there you need them okay so let's go and see what we got in here to be able to make this guy so powered spawner uh they okay so chicken and enderman all seem to be different for some reason kind of odd so what do we have already to be able to make this we have is it lagging I think it's lagging a little bit right now. Yeah, okay, I was just lagging. What do we got to be able to make this guy? We have everything except for the Vibrant Crystals and the Z-Logic Controller. Now, the Z-Logic Controller is made in the Slice and Splice, something that I never thought I would use again, but I guess we're going to have to. Silicon, Redstone, Zombie Head, and Solarium. Okay, so Zombie Head. Do I have a Zombie Head in here? We've got four of them, thankfully. So we can go and grab you out from right there. We need a Solarium, which I should have in here. A Solarium. Do I have Solarium? We have Solid ender is it made also okay never mind so we have 111 solarium from right there and then what else do we be able to need to make it out of there we need of course an iron axe and shears but i think that is about it we got the silicon on us i no, actually we don't okay silicon go and grab a little bit out of there uh actually no wait a minute where's our silicon do you have silicon on us I know I was working. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I think the silicon's actually in one of these machines over here. Uh, yeah, here's our silicon. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and go over to the. I should have a slice of spice still active. Let me see here. Is this a slice of spice right underneath here? Please tell me it is. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and put the silicon on the corners right over there. The zombie head in the middle. And then I believe, what was it on the other sides of here? It was two solarium. There we go. So we'll drop one and two in there. And then I believe the last thing was one redstone. Yes, indeed. Let me go ahead and grab a little redstone out from here. Here. there we go we should have uh some redstone here we've got about uh okay we got 326 there we go trying to locate it real fast found it what's up Kara? how are you doing all right so redstone's going down right there and then we need an iron axe and shears please tell me that i have that iron axe we have three of those perfect go ahead and grab one of those as well as shears oh we look at all the shears that we got i didn't even realize that we've got so many shears i don't think i've ever made these i think they just came from uh that's definitely interesting right there okay so we have a lot more than just the vanilla shears didn't know more existed but i guess that's good to know so uh drop the iron axe in there as well as the shears and then this should in a little bit of time make ourselves what we need and then the vibrant crystals i think this is actually pretty easy to make let me go ahead and try making this right now i should actually have some vibrant crystals but I guess I don't. A little bit unfortunate right there. So we need ourselves uh, an emerald and vibrant alloy nuggets, which I've got. Oh, I have some, but not enough. Okay. Drop us right in there. Get ourselves a stack of 64. Looking great. And we should be able to make ourselves... Uh, here, we'll just drop that right in there and be able to make... How many of these guys can we make up? We can make... Uh, okay, so two. That's all we pretty much need. And we'll go ahead and grab the good old... Uh, what was this guy called? What do you call it right here? Z-Logic Controller. Very odd name for uh, an item, but but should work out the same. All right, that's looking good. And powered spawner, shift click on that. And we got ourselves a powered spawner from Ender.io. Now, uh, here's what we're going to need to do, I guess. We go ahead and drop this guy in here with the uh, spawner of choice that we want, which we've got a total of... Guys, kind of spawners we got here. We got a tracking golem, ghoul zombie, enderman, cave spider, spider driver, battle sentry, aether mob spawner. Uh, those are not the broken ones though. Sentry golem, sentry, and spider. Cloud shark, dungeon meets tracking golem, enderman. 
I'm very tempted to do maybe the Enderman as well as the Spider, but I would need a little bit more of what we got. The benefit, though, is that now that we've got a power spawner, we should be able to just duplicate it up and we'll be fine. A uh, little bit of, you know, a little bit of a cheap way, but hey, you know what? It's crazy to craft. We're not using this for anything. There we go. 64 power spawners. We're looking pretty hot good. So I'd say uh, Spider right over here, and then I believe it was the Enderman spawner. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. All right, so never done this before. See if this works. Broken spawner right in there, along with the power spawner. Ooh, hold on. Uh, n combined with a broken spawner in an anvil. Might need to do it in just a standard anvil rather than a dark steel anvil. Do I have a normal vanilla anvil in here? We have 60. Very damaged ones, but we still have 60. Why is it very damaged by default? A little bit odd. So yeah, broken spawner, uh, power spawner. Do I need to do it maybe the other? Oh, you need to do it the other way around. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, right, so that requires 30. Interesting. 30 levels. Do I have 30 levels? I should have some levels over here in my uh, experience obelisk. We have none, actually. We have none. What about experience bottles? Do we have experience bottles? We do not have any experience bottles in here. What about in my main uh, terminal right here? Do I have any experience bottles inside of here? We have a total of... Uh, really? I have no experience bottles. We have experience essence lamps. We have experience... We probably have... Uh, wait, hold on. EXP... No. What about just XP? No. That's not how it is. XP tank? No. Interesting. So we have no real method to gain experience other than um, the vanilla default ways, which is actually a little bit interesting. So what if I was to go ahead and look up tank over here? Okay, I guess what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our liquid XP tank right now. Let's we'll go ahead and drop one of these guys down right now, as well as an XP shower, I believe it's called. Yeah, there we go. We can go ahead and pop this right on there. There we go. And uh, that should start flooding out more experience than we will ever need. Well, actually, no, it's already gone. Okay, that actually does a job pretty quick right there. All right, so we'll go ahead and break this down right there. There we go, and drop that on. And just go ahead and squeeze out the last little bit that we got here. 30 experience looking good. So we'll go ahead and do it over here. Power spawner as well as the Enderman spawner right there. 30 of it looking great. And now I'm not really sure whether or not we would need uh, upgrade with capacitors to increase speed and energy storage. Might need to actually power this guy up considering it's a powered spawner. Which is a little bit odd, but that's fine. And we'll go ahead and grab up a little bit more experience from here. So uh, we have a total of 10 at the moment. There we go. Drop that down right there. Give me a little bit more, baby. We got... Uh, what do we got? 25? 27? Ooh, can we get it? 29. Come on, come on. There we go. 30 experience looking great. So we're we'll going to do the same thing for the... Uh, what? Wait, what was the other spawner I've got? Spider. Okay, spider spawner. Power spawner right there. So we got 30 on you. So if I was to go ahead and drop this guy down, right? You do actually need RF very interesting okay so i've got a little bit of an idea of how i want to do this right we got a transfer node on us do i have some spare test racks that i could possibly use to power this guy we do have six of them okay good so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and drop a test rack down in a remote location to power this guy because i don't want him powered by my home stuff you know it's a little bit we don't need enderman spawning inside of our house not really all that desirable so we'll go ahead and spawn it uh, i believe over here where i have my other spawners at one point here we go spawn you right over here there we go so power spawner enderman we'll go ahead and drop you down right over there we'll drop down the tesseract right over here looking good we're gonna hook you up to the 314 that will be the frequency the item mode is uh send and receive energy nothing else obviously and we'll get a transfer node and then you are going to be powered up and this should start by my knowledge spawning enderman unless we would need to do this in the dark let's see spawn capture interesting okay so max right there i guess maybe redstone active with signal looking good wait a minute hold on uh we want active without never active right there uh how does this guy work then okay so it's fully charged up right now which is good uh configure io what does this do here uh not really sure what this io thing does right over here i would imagine this is the uh intake for the power probably how do i get you to spawn and do i need i probably need to actually do this in a dark cave might need to actually do this in a dark cave. Let's pick it up and try this over again. All right, so very conveniently, we actually have a cave over here, which is uh, pretty sick. It's right underneath our house, and uh, this should allow for some Enderman spawning. So we'll go and drop this guy right down there, as well as the transfer node. Uh, not really sure why that place over there. Let me go and break that up real fast, as well as the Tesseract over there. Drop that down. That's hooked to 134, or 314, rather. So uh, now spawning. Okay. How do we get this guy to spawn? 
is a little bit of uh okay so it's active right now it's got rf you're looking fine just how do we get this guy to start spawning is it spawning now now that i changed the red sun mode i would imagine maybe and we maybe have to give it a little bit of time here it said we could upgrade it with uh what's it called hold on let me see right here you can uh, upgrade with capacitors to increase speed and energy storage let me actually see real fast here uh, do we have capacitors we do have uh octadic capacitors increases energy storage and speed range of machines uh double layer i believe this is the maximum one so that's actually pretty cool wireless out of range and we got ourselves some endermen spawning in you guys have 240 oh it spawns in from Hardcore Ender expansion. Although I think that's just all Endermen in default now spawn in that way. Also a little bit of a problem with the fact that the Endermen wind up just teleporting out of here without doing anything. Okay, interesting. Might have a little bit of a problem with the fact that these are Enderman spawners, so I might want to hook us up to probably spiders, actually. So let's go ahead and replace this one here with spiders and see how well this does. We got our spider one right there. That's going to go ahead and get powered from that. And then this should start spawning. So if I go ahead and put the capacitors in here, uh, that I imagine should definitely wind up doing us justice. Hopefully that's not too high of a capacitor. Oh, no, 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 no. Take a capacitor out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Okay. All right, so we got to make sure with the fact that now these guys have a lot more HP than they ever did before that this doesn't start spawning way too much before I get the chance to because that might honestly be a problem. So let's go and kill a few of these guys over here. Not sure what I just got from there, but it was definitely not a heart cancer. Some of these guys actually have 600 HP. Where is that? There's one with 600. Oh my god, this flaming guy right here is 672 HP. Did we spawn a boss or something? I think we genuinely just spawned a boss. Then we actually just spawned a spider boss right there. All right, well, let's go ahead and kill these guys. And then I think we're going to go ahead and disable the spawner for right now. Just take a look at what we got over here. Yeah, we got we to gotta eliminate this guy faster here. Come on, spider. Come on, spider. And you are dead, baby. Looking good. So what did we get? Hold on a second. What did we get from that? We got ourselves um, nothing. Not really anything from that. Okay. So still no heart canister. We're going to have to obviously uh, take a little bit of time to try and get these guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to AFK real fast here. Try and get ourselves a heart canister, which hopefully we'll be able to get from these guys. And um, yeah, catch y'all back in a moment. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, cool. Actually happened like literally right when I said, oh, I'm going to be back a little bit later. Uh, oh, spiders, please. Just let me grab this, please. Let me let me just kill you guys real fast here just so I can grab this heart canister. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Just, just die. All right, cool. Got ourselves a heart canister from difficult life i'm not sure what's about to happen whether or not there's a cap to how much you can have of this guy but we're about to see and this might actually get a, a little bit terrifying i'm going to be honest so we can actually go ahead and use the creative satchel that i've got on us right now we're going right click with this can we stack these guys we can stack them in stacks of 64 okay so if i was to right click on one that uses it up and then now if I eat my magical food, that's going to bring us to now two blue hearts. I'm going to go ahead and turn the GUI scale up so you guys can really see what we're working with here. So if I was to eat then eight more of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now eat our magical food, what do we have in total here? Okay, it's regening up a little slow. We got to give it some time right now. Might actually go over to the healer block inside my house because I believe it does it a bit faster. Regen up a little bit more right there. Don't tell me there's a cap. Do not tell me there's the cap to this. We better be able to get unlimited health. Let's see our, us go all the way to the pinks here. Healer block right now should heal us up quite. Yeah, okay. It's healing us up a lot faster right there. So we have now full blue hearts. So now if I was to oh, eat another one of them. Pink? Oh, no, no, no. Purple. Purple hearts. Okay. We have purple hearts now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine i think we'll be able to get ourselves full purple hearts oh my god this cannot be real this cannot be real dare we try pink i've never seen pink i've never seen what a pink heart even looks like does it exist it does pink hearts <laughs> pink hearts all right well i guess there's really nothing else to do than just uh right click away one two three four five six seven eight nine we pretty much learned that there is about no cap to these heart canisters and uh what we're dealing with is uh pretty interesting full row of uh pink wait a minute did it oh it just lagged a little bit right there 
Is there anything past pink? Three, two, one. There is. It's a red heart. It turned it back around to a red-toned heart. I guess let's just go ahead and eat them up right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're right now at what I would consider a salmon color. This is just stupid. This is just stupid. Does it really work this way? I guess it does. I can't complain. I guess it does. Is there anything past salmon or does it like reroute back to yellow? Let's see. Right click on here. What are we going to get? Bright gold. Bright gold. You know what? We're just going to eat all of it. We're going to eat everything but a stack. We're going to eat everything but a stack right there. We're just going to eat these guys until the dogs come home. Let's just see how many hearts we can get from this. I don't even know what we're going to be able to get right now. Pass the gold. Pass the gold hearts. What do we get? Diamond hearts. Diamond toned hearts. What comes after? Emerald maybe? I don't actually know. I'm not eating anymore. I want to see what happens afterward, right? I want to see what happens. Diamond toned hearts. What do we get after that? Crystal. What seems to be a crystal themed heart. All right. So we have, uh, okay. That's definitely interesting. Uh, have we broken a mod pack? We've broken a mod pack for sure. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and eat three more of these guys up right there. Get a little bit more regen looking good. Dare I continue going? I think I'm going to right now. What do we have past the crystal toned hearts? What do we got? White hearts. White hearts. All right. Well white white hearts that's just that's incredible that right there is incredible so uh let's go ahead you know what i actually think we're gonna do for right now you know what i think i'm gonna do for right now let's go ahead and eat up two more of them right now and i think honestly i'm gonna go ahead and stop right there we could obviously do a lot more but honestly i like the fact that my hearts now kind of look like turnips if i'm not gonna lie to you guys <laughs> they kind of look like freaking turnips at this point i don't know should we continue on? Should we continue? You know what? I'm curious. What, fudge, fudge it. Why not? I'm curious. What are we going to get past it right now? What are we going to get? Is that it? I think that's it. That's it right there. Yep. So there is actually... Wait a minute. Is there a cap or did it turn a different tone? No. That's definitely... Okay. So that's it right there. I was trying to see if there was a little bit of coloration difference right there, but there wasn't... Was there? No, there isn't. My mind is playing tricks on me right now. Ladies and gentlemen... We have, at this point, unlocked the final row of hearts. So I believe right now, you guys know there are certain... Whoa, my terminal shut off. Interesting. Was I maybe pulling too much energy? Might have been pulling too much energy. My terminal shut off. Interesting. Okay, so my terminal's offline. Uh, maybe break this guy and uh, have it work again. Do you work now? Maybe want to work now? Or is that not how this works? Maybe not how it works. Okay, so our terminal's offline for some very bizarre reason right now. Kind of don't really want to take the time to figure that out. So let's just go ahead and place some stuff back over there. Controller's going down. Either way, uh, I believe if I go... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, no, no. It went into the... Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and see here. So our main wireless terminal right here. I believe I should have in here... Oh, no, I don't. Oh, you know what I did? All of my stuff is inside of here. All my Superman armor is inside of here. Do I have a, uh, oh, every time. What is with this, dude? The, energy's ex the energy acceptors always w seem to wind up, like, vanishing on us. And we have it somehow in our inventory. What? Have I always had that in my, I think I already, already always had this one in our inventory. Either way, uh, energy acceptor, are you going to turn online now that I put you back down? Hopefully it should turn back online here. Should turn back online. If not, we might have a little bit of a bigger problem. And it might be the fact that the powered spawner... No, no, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, so Hulk. Wanted to see real fast here. I'm going to go put away my, some of my stuff over here. Hulk's tunic. Hulk's pants. Hulk's mask. And Hulk's boots. Boots, rather. Is there a way for it to maybe give me a little bit more of a health increase? Because I know this guy has health boost 7. What do we got right here? Nope. White hearts are, of course, the end game material. And now that we had it from a good old difficult life, we now have ourselves white hearts, which I believe, if I'm not incorrect in saying it, let me try and see if I can remember this, okay? So red hearts were 10, yellow, green, and blue was blue was 40, 
purple was 50, pink was 60, salmon was 70, gold was 80, diamond was 90, white was 100. Ladies and gentlemen, I might have missed one, but I know those were ones that were guaranteed. Guys, I think we have capped out at 100 hearts. Our player now is 200 HP, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a good way to end up this episode right now, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Take care if you did. And, um, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, dip out of this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. A little bit of apologies if uh, I was a little bit tired in, uh, or if I looked a little bit tired. I went to a concert last night for the good old Thrice, my favorite band. They actually went on a hiatus for like four months, or four, four months, four years, actually. So uh, the last time I saw them in concert was about five years ago on their farewell tour. And I was able to catch the first concert of their welcome back tour over at the good old Shrine X. Hall in Los Angeles it was me, Kara, uh, my brother, and his now wife, or my now sister-in-law. A little bit weird to say or think that, but uh, either way, had a really good night. Thought I would go ahead, catch on right now, record a little bit of Crazy Aircraft, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, and I'll catch you all back tomorrow for another episode. Ciao!